Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. I noticed we're back in regular clothes too. It's kind of, kind of weird. It's not. Just, we didn't change clothes. I thought. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so let's start out by I guess going around to the lowest area. So how about over here? Sound good? I think that sounds good. It's. It might sound good. So please put a seed. Let's. Let's grab that seed. Not smack it with our hat and go to a bone and no I'm just kidding <laughs> for once it's not a bonus it's just kind of like a a way to travel around here more than anything but why I started here first is I kind of want to show you something right off the bat here hat door in a little tower uh oh it's the cockatiel and we're in Peach's castle music and Peach's castle in general, and so guess what we gotta do? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yep, there. Yeah, oh, I was a little bit off sync. So these, this is kind of like a boss rematch, except uh, it's a bit harder. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So it's not like a reuse content type of boss rush or something like that. Oh no 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 no. no. This is... it's got some changes, and those moon rocks there, or well, moon snakes there, that's that's one of them. <laughs> and look, that's one hit. It's not that much harder than the original, but uh, let's just say other bosses we'll come across here are... They're, they're quite a bit boosted. <laughs> the Cookatiel, though, is pretty standard aside from the Moon Snakes because Moon Snakes don't really make much of a difference. They're just kind of there. I mean, yeah, they, they can be sort of in your way ish. There's a spike balls coming down. It's a gullet of doom, and it's not really that much difficult. I mean, much more as I run into one. I was gonna say because it's all kind of rhythmic based, and you just jump with the time, you know, the rhythm and stuff. And yeah. Anyway, one more hit ought to seal the you know, the the meal. Get it? Get it? Forget it. Forget. It. <laughs> I gotta really stop messing around here. I've actually gotta focus for realsies because it's really not that hard of a a boss rematch or anything like that. Just gotta gotta watch for the spikers. Watch for vomit in the wrong places and win. That'll do. And once again, you will be cooked. You may not like it, but you're becoming a part of the stupendous stew. <laughs> and there we are. A triple moon, multi moon. What the poof? That what for just for redefeating a boss? Why well, yes, <laughs> sure. Why not? It may not be like storyline based or anything like that, but hey, we'll take it. <laughs> and now we'll be pooped back out to Super Mario 64 land. Whew. Well, ish. I mean, it's certainly a little, little higher definition than Super Mario 64, but anyway. <laughs> so down over here, you're gonna see Dory hanging out, having a good time. There's a pipe, but you know, you know, you gotta probably, probably just collect stuff up above and around the area first. Hello, Dory. <laughs> Translation, let's swim together. Yeah, maybe, in, maybe in a bit. He's got this nice six coinages around Dory there. Um, oh yeah, the Koopa races have started. This is a post-game thing. Oh, look at their little good race! Nothing better! Well, let's do that in a minute. <laughs> let's just actually first go down... No, no, no. I want to go down the Piper. I think it's it leads to uh, some other place, if I recall correctly. It's not like a warp somewhere else. Yep. Oh yeah, it's another boss. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, Mr. Lansure? We begin again. Oh boy. Oh boy! Now, this time, it's unsafe to jump 
out of our gushing friend, but that's okay because we've got rain to continually refill our water, and it's vulnerable to our water gushes above its head. So let's chase it down and knock it down. Come on, just slow down here. I need to get on top of your head. I know that's that's not ideal, but <laughs> I suppose I can do it this way too. But that's. That's also not ideal. This is probably the most annoying of the boss uh, remakes, I guess you could say. Because he doesn't always cooperate with you, so you've got to be very patient to actually get a hit in. I mean, look at me, I'm going at him full speed and he just sometimes just gets away from me. Until he, there we go, until he slows down. Alright, indeed! Now get away while his noggin is regenerating-ish. And now we repeat. <laughs> sort of repeat. I mean, it's, I think there's a little bit of a difference to it. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, oh, come on, come on. Just knock you down a little. <laughs> Just need to, need to get myself a little bit of extra room here to get on top of your noodle. Yeah, he does have a different, different attack pattern. Oh man, because he's got. Ah, <laughs> Because he's got the spin periodically. Dang it! Don't you stop... I mean, don't you start moving when I'm in the middle of attacking you, man. <laughs> Alright. One more ought to do. And yes, there is the big old sparkling water goblet over here to boot. And for a little extra decoration, but... Does not really come into play. <laughs> it's just kind of like reminding you, ow. That you're in the sort of kind of beach zone, but not quite beach zone. <laughs> come on, come on, just knock your. Go down a little bit, man. Go down a little. Ah, oh, man, I can't. Oh, okay. oh, I can hit you when you're spinning. I didn't know I could do that. Interesting. Ow! <laughs> ah, I gotta be more patient. Wait for the attacks to subside and then start slapping him with water. Ooh, oh no 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 no! Not ready, not ready. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I didn't stop it. He just stopped on his own because that's spinning. Because I didn't hit him at all when he was spewing water there that time, and he stopped as quick as he did the other time. Oh 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 oh! oh. I guess this time I'm gonna have to just keep whacking him in the face with water because he's not gonna let me hit him on the noodle. So that'll do if I can. That's why I said this is one of the more annoying of the remixed bosses here, so this will be a well-earned multi-moon if you can pull it off. <laughs> Dang it! And yeah, chain switching your back over to him, not the easiest thing to do either, but I am doing damage to him, and it's not like he has an automatic recovery system or something like that, where he, I mean, he needs to be constantly put under pressure. I'm just trying to Finish this as, as soon as I can, because it's it's a long enough battle as it is. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, I had a good stream going there, and I was like, oh no, I choked. <laughs> nah, not much of a choke actually. It was just I switched over too soon, and it was yeah, it didn't turn out too well. Dang it! All right, stop your spinning and embrace my water. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Don't you don't you no no. No, stop it, Monster Lancer. Don't you dare spin. <laughs> it's so long. So long. Because it's so annoying to hit him. Oh, yes, I got him. Yeah! I don't know why Mario appears on top of there, because you're not, you're not ever able to really jump on top of his head normally. At least I don't think, because if you do, you just automatically lose your gushing, because... How are you gonna recover the gushing above the clouds? Anyway, grab the triple multi moon and head on back out. I think I'll go flop over to the Koopa race because it's right there. Woo! Woo! I say. It didn't really look that much like bubbling. I mean, I didn't think we were that high up when we got to the top of the champagne sparkling water glass. But. <laughs> Anyway, let's go in the pipe, and out we go. Now for that race. <laughs> um, but actually, is there anything underneath Dory? I just want to see really quick. No, okay. Just want to be sure. There's sometimes 
tote the little cargo with them. As a matter of fact, I'll look above as well. No, okay. Alright, so about the race. So he's like, Whoa! We're the roving racers! We rove the globe! <laughs> Racing in every kingdom that we can get to! Want a race, bro? You'll get a prize if you win! Nope. Ah, uh, too bad. Maybe another time. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it to it. That's the spirit. The rules are simple. Race us to the goal and get there first. There's a bright beacon at the finish line. Got it? Then let's go! <sighs> Alright. There's actually two races, uh, to be more precise. You beat this and then you beat another one after that. This is the regular cup variety. Three, two, one. Grab that flower, you... <sighs> <laughs> you really want to grab- Man, I am horrifically sucking. I'm glad this is just the normal race. <laughs> okay, there we go. And uh, you want to go all the way over to the front gate of Peach's Castle here. So just kind of zoom on down over there. There we go. It'll automatically poop us back over to the starting line uh, after we finish this. So that was horrible. I've done so much better. I think I got under 10 seconds on this before. Blazing fast, bro. Here's the prize. A moon power moon. Woo! You made a star or... Hmm, never mind. <laughs> yeah, let's see what my best time was. I think it's shared between save files, if I, if I recall correctly. Uh, if it's going to connect to the network, I don't know. Right? No, that is not... Oh, maybe, maybe it really is on my other save file. I thought it shared between save files. Because, yeah, that was just... Awful. Anyway. <laughs> hey, we got a new racer! You'll win something good, too, if you win the race, bro. Up for it? I'm in! That's the spirit. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and do a proper roll at the start this time. And also, try not to touch the water, because the water slows you down as well. Anyway, Master Cup is the final cup. Go! And that was sort of okay, I guess. <laughs> and I grabbed Oh, shoot! That was terrible. That is not a masterful use of the flowers. Yeah, that's a total, total loss. Well, maybe not, maybe not. Hold on, oh, there's the master racer right there. I somehow won for the worst time. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I guess he's not a master after all. Lazy fast. That was not. Here's the prize. A moon power moon. <laughs> That's awful. And yet I still succeeded. Let's try to do something better. Just, just for the sake of showing you a proper run at this. Jeez. Alright, can I skip this? No, I cannot. <laughs> just mashing the plus button. But nope. No skipping for me. And go! Yep. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was okay, but yeah, that was not as efficient as I got with my best time. I'm, what I'm supposed to do is, is hop on the mushroom after getting the flower, and then... Yeah. Yeah, that was even... That might have been even more embarrassing. I don't... <laughs> I, need, I need to re-get the hang of this race, dang it. <laughs> Oh, man. Can I at least get under 12 seconds or something? Can I? Yeah, repeat, repeating the race just gives you a bunch of coins. Alright, good. I'll just give it one more try. I, don't, I might not be able to do this anytime soon at this race. I should say, redo this to my masterful racing time that I had, well, ish. <laughs> I had before. It was not a first place time, but still, still, it should have been a lot better. Alright, no, no more risky moves. Let's just do it like this. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I didn't get under 10 seconds before. I don't know. Maybe I did. I, did, I don't know. I don't know why I thought I got under 10 seconds. That seems like it would be even, like, way, way more efficient than it's even possible there. So I don't know why I thought under 10. But yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Ah, okay, I'm, I'm decently pleased with that, though that's definitely not my best. I was doing some really whippy moves, and I had this, like, master, and I was practicing it over and over until I got it, and until I got some specific... Oh, yeah, it is possible to get under... Wait, no, no, wait, how? Under f 
under six seconds? There's got to be a video on that somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Unless... I don't know. I really don't know about that one. <laughs> I guess it might be possible. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... Yes, there are sheep around here. I'm going to do that in one fell soup when I get to that. I'm going to come over he to here. See this? It's got a slightly sparkly tail going on here. <laughs> Voila! Grab that stoon and there we go. Pops out of the tail. Yeah, star combined with a moon I'm calling a stoon, I guess. And if you actually... Actually, I should have showed this here. If you stand on here for a bit, Mario will like sit down on it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, a little extra secret to boot. <laughs> uh, those purples that are directly above here, I might as well go ahead and grab as well. There we go. Uh, you can knock around the mushrooms, all those kinds of mushrooms, and they'll eventually give you a prize when they stop bouncing around. <laughs> well, sometimes they give you a prize. I don't know. This, this is uh, it's giving me trouble all day and all night. I might not want to bother waiting for that. <laughs> Will you give any prize? Or maybe you won't give any prize. I could have swore you gave like a coin every so often though. No, nope, maybe not. Or at least not this time. It's the mushroom roulette. Before I go in there, I think there's something on the back of here. Yep. Just as I thought. Don't want to lose out. Oh. Don't want to lose out on those. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. And now we can go in and see what boss awaits us this time. Oh, Wham Bam Rock. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna say here we go one more time, because here we go. This is a little cutscene time. I could skip it, but I don't know. You might have forgotten it. <laughs> Ready, Wham Bam Rock? It's on! And... Get ready to punch that ice! There you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a great start. It's a fantastic start. Grab the hand. Punch him with the hand. You know the deal. Give him a fat lip. <laughs> One, two, three, boink, boink. Yeah! Being all fancy-like. <laughs> you guys can kind of follow me all day and all night. I don't mind. You're a lot slower. That I'm worried about any anyway, unless I run my face right into you, but <laughs> I'm more concerned about getting the hands in the right position here. Alright. On the side that the hand is not. And call it a boss, hopefully. Hopefully I can get a little bit of extra health going on here. By the way, you can also go right in between them as I to say as I showed before, but I failed, of course. Should have just triple jumped over him, like I knew it would work anyway. And yeah, just like Mario 64, you get pooped out of the painting. I forgot all about that, actually. Alright. So I'm skipping this time. <laughs> this boss can go really quickly, actually, if, uh, if, uh, you know, you <laughs> if you aren't doing stupid stuff. There we go. There we go! And your ice diamonds are no match for your own fist. <laughs> I mean, you sort of kind of try and repel them, but it's it's uh, it's not really gonna happen if I'm going around the correct side. Anyway, let's try it again. Yeah, whenever he slams the ground, I'm supposed to be jumping to prepare myself for the zombie invasion. Because that's the easiest way to actually avoid taking a hit, is just being in the air. Oh, no, 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 oh, we got a little, oh, 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 getting some nicks here. There's plenty of time. The hardest one is always the last one, because he goes from side to side, and you gotta kind of weave between them via improv. And there we go. Use that little hat jump technique there, like, you know, throw your hat in the air so that you get a little extra air just to ensure that you have the right timing when you're doing that triple jump over them. And Fantastic. All you need to do is keep moving in that vertical direction. Oh, really? Are you serious? Oh, mother of Arceus. Why? It's not that much harder of a 
of a rematch, like adding the combos. <laughs> or maybe it is, I don't know. It shouldn't be, just, in, just jumping in the air. Anyway, and Smasher, well, I was gonna say smash it, because it just, it's easier to grab the gem when he smashes his fist onto the, yeah, but you can do it the other way, just like throwing it onto the gem. Yeah. Oh, I thought you could. Or maybe you could in the original, but maybe you can't on this one, I don't know. And uh, just keep at it, we'll get this. Oh, right in between? Oh, and of course that happens to boot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't even really see there, but I could tell with the other hand was based on where it was shooting. I was like, eh, I don't feel like adjusting the camera that badly. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, get out of the way. I'm just a little bit too close to the center there while he's charging in. Come on, Wham Bam Rock. You are not the toughest of bosses for sure. I have an idea what might be the toughest of bosses, though. Well, an inter... <laughs> In terms of the remix, we'll see though <laughs> when we get there. Because sometimes I say something is really hard, and then I end up going and doing it really smoothly. But other times, like this, I say it's going to be pretty easy, and then I completely and horrendously. Did I land on one <laughs> like this? Exactly like this. <laughs> I keep doing dumb mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hopefully this will be the last round. <sighs> I'm gonna put all my focus, all of my love into this round, and hopefully it'll lead to victory. There we go, and go around the side, the other hand is not. Alright, try and keep our health here for as long as we can, please. By the way, you can also just dodge by going off to the side. That's probably an, a, another possibly easier way to do it than triple jumping. Possibly, maybe. It all depends on personal preference. And also probably depends on your positioning. I tried to jump there. I was just kind of trapped between a spire and the combo. Uh, however you want to put that phrase. Alright, so there we go. And take it wide and into the eye. That didn't exactly rhyme, but it was close enough. Alright, let's do this the running way, I guess. Or rolling way, I guess that'll work too. <laughs> I think actually maybe that would be a little bit easier, because then you're not trying to like get out of the way of his head moving over towards you and whatnot too. Alright, remember keep moving, keep moving. Not, not complicated at all. Just don't be stupid. <laughs> There you go. See, if you're jumping, it's it's like you have time to prepare for the zombie invasion. Alright, so the last one's gonna alternate, so zigzag between as such whenever you need to, improvisation. It's kinda hard to do the like the last closing in bits of it because you don't know if it's gonna go from the right to the left or just stay on the right or yeah, so it's kinda kinda a little dicey in that regard and well, eh, not impossible, as, as you see. Look at that, look, look how easy that was. <laughs> and another one is in our possession. Woo! Oh, oh, there's more bosses to see, believe you me. <laughs> but for now, I think I'm gonna end off the part here, because I fumbled around enough with the race and this boss enough. So, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue exploring the Mushroom Kingdom some more.